guys, my name is Amelia Richter and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about investing the smart way. I did it the wrong way and I am here to talk to you guys about it so you guys can learn from my mistakes. So apart from being a real estate agent, I am also an investor here in Columbus. I invest using my own money. I do partnerships and I also take colleagues and also clients' properties and flip them. So there are many different types of real estate investing. You can buy properties, fix them up, and then rent them out. Or you can buy a property, fix it up, and flip it. I have two properties that I had to flip. The first mistake I did was not doing enough research on the contractor that I hired. So rule number one, um, there are a lot of shady contractors. There are a lot of shady contractors. So the first property was brought to me because one of the shady contractors ran away with a colleague's money. And the, um, the investor did not live in Columbus, so he asked me to help him find contractors to do the job. So he's paying me to basically project manage. Um, I found a contractor, I trusted the contractor, and the contractor did shoddy work. You wanna make sure you're researching your contractor. Make sure you don't get a contractor that's gonna run away with your money. <laughs> make sure you get a contractor that knows how to do the work properly. Get a contractor who is licensed, bonded, and seasoned in the city. To be a home improvement contractor or a rehab contractor in most cities, you have to be licensed and bonded. Make sure you can check on your city's website that the contractor is licensed and bonded. Make sure you're staying up to date on everything that they are doing. The mistake that I made is I had an airtight an airtight contract and I still got screwed in a way. My contract had the contractor working in phases, which I recommend for everyone to do. Make sure you have an airtight contract and make sure you have a flow of how you want the rehab to run. I, in my case, I had phases on how I wanted the rehab to run. I did not stick to those phases and it I blame myself, I kick myself every day for that because a lot could be avoided. The pro about having work ran in phases is that when a phase is done, you can come on site and check it out and see that everything is done properly and then they can move on to the next thing. What ended up happening with the project was we were falling behind. So he had one person doing siding, another person doing window framing, another person doing the bathroom, another person doing the kitchen. Things are happening, things are falling into place, but at the same time, you're, when I went on site to look at the work that was being done, I just kind of strolled by like, oh, okay, the kitchen's done, okay, the, the tiles in the bathroom are up. I wasn't inspecting the product or the work that was being done as thoroughly as I should have or could have because so much was happening at once. The con about moving in phases is Things take a little bit longer. A lot of things could coincidentally work together, like putting up subway tiles while putting up the cabinets. But you don't want it to have the drywall be put up while having the carpet laid. Those things don't coincide. Those those things don't even make sense together. And that's what was happening in this project. A lot of things were just going wrong. City of Columbus, and so is a lot of cities, there's a list of things that you need a permit to do. You need a permit for a new roof. You need a permit to blow out walls you need a permit to create new additions like um, a basement adding a second bathroom that was not existing before you need a permit to do electrical work plumbing you need a permit for all those things did my contractor get that of course not there's a reason why you need a permit to do a lot of those things it's because they want to make sure it's being done the right way. The things that you need a permit for, you have to have licensed people do those jobs, like electrical and plumbing. And the reasons for that, the city wants to make sure that the work being done is done correctly and up to code so it's not a hazard. These contractors want to get away with hiring somebody who knows electrical work but is not licensed because a licensed electrician costs a little bit more than hiring somebody off of Craigslist. I had the garage light controlling the basement light. I had the 
living room lights um, controlling the kitchen lights, the kitchen lights controlling the lights outside. Just crazy things that should not be happening. And the tea of it all, it rained really, really hard here in Columbus and the whole basement flooded. It was that bad. The whole entire basement flooded. Water was shooting out of the toilets, the, the showers, um, and we thought, okay, maybe it was it's the the city's drain needs to be snaked out it got snaked out there was nothing that was found um it turns out to be the shoddy plumbing work that he did not get a permit or a licensed plumber to do the work work that needs permit is listed on your city's website go ahead and make sure that if your contractor is doing those work make sure that they're hiring um licensed plumbers licensed electricians and they're filing permits and you're getting copies of those permits. So when you file a permit, it does cost money. You schedule your electrician to come out, they do the work, and then the city comes out to inspect it, that it was done up to code and was done correctly. You're paying a little bit of money, but you're also getting insurance to make sure that the work that is being done is done correctly. Next, going in over your head. The real estate market now in Columbus is skyrocketed. It is through the roof. You almost will not get a good deal if you're not getting it from a wholesaler or straight from the seller. Once it hits the market, it's at market value. And when you rehab it, you're breaking even. You're not making any money. The real estate market in Columbus is absolutely crazy. We are number three in the whole nation for top real estate um, markets. And over your head, trying to tell you guys that buying a property for $60,000 is going to ARV for $130,000, but your rehab costs $80,000. That doesn't make sense. Make sure that you get great deals. Make sure that you you know your numbers. Make sure that you know them inside and out and backwards. Um, so now let's talk about the other side of investing, renting, um, buying a property and renting it out. Let's say you bought a property for $50,000. It cost you $20,000, $30,000 to rehab. So now you are at $80,000 out of your pocket. Usually these investment properties are not in the greatest or the best of neighborhoods. So let's say at max, you're getting $1,000. Let's pretend that that $80,000 came straight out of your pocket. It was not a loan. It's gonna take you six and a half years to start to make that $80,000 back to replace it, put it back in your pocket before you start seeing a, and making a real profit. And let's just hope within that six and a half years, you didn't have to change anything. You know, you moved in a tenant and the, the plumbing didn't go out, the electric didn't go out. Um, you didn't have to replace the roof. You didn't have to do anything, you know, within those six and a half years, then great. You can start off, you know, you put that $80,000 back. Now you are seeing a profit. That's great. But on the other hand, you know, the electricity is going out, plumbing is going out, um, the house is being tore up. The thing with owning a home is a lot of people are proud to own homes, so they keep up with the house. You know, this falls apart, they get it fixed. This falls apart, they get it fixed. They're careful about doing this. When you rent out a home, it's not that person's house. They could care less what happens to it or how they treat it. So the home falls apart faster. A lot of the rental properties that I have dealt with, either past or present, I always do a background check and run a credit check. Um, background check cannot be a felon. Um, credit check has to have a minimum credit score of 640, 650, and that is the minimum of the minimum. That's going to tell you that that person is going to pay their rent. And when you also do a credit check, it's going to have on there if there's been any past evictions or how long the evictions were or how often they're being evicted. Absolutely, at least one eviction is the minimum and it has to be at least two or three years ago. If you just got evicted, that's a no-go. It sounds cruel because, you know, people are applying to live at your property and you're turning them away, but it's not. You're spending $80,000 on a property for somebody to come and live there for $1,000 a month. You want to make sure you're getting that money back and evicting somebody costs money. I think it's like a hundred and something dollars to evict someone. 
it's all a costly process so you want to make sure you're doing your due diligence to make sure that you get a good person in there a lot of the tenants you're going to get are going to be on section 8 which is great because you know that your check is going to come in at the end of the month you know how long you're going to get it for and how much you're going to get it and it's going to be constant it, real estate investing is great and there could be a lot of money and profits made from that business but sometimes it takes a long time to see a profit you have to be smart I love it though it's great it's a great source of income if you know what you're doing um, and if you're doing it right thank you guys so much for watching I get a lot of questions about real estate investing what I'm doing how I got into it it is very simple follow me on Instagram right here um, I post a lot of my properties um, on Instagram story on a daily you see the process so definitely my Instagram is a definitely good place to go but if you have any other questions or topics you'd like for me to um, touch on definitely comment them down below like and subscribe and see you guys on the next video